All right, I want to go over quickly with you um, the relationship between segment bisectors and midpoints. Um, they're they're different concepts, but very closely related, so they could get confused. Um, first of all, I, what's a what's a segment? Let's let's talk about that. Um, a segment is the um, well, if you've got a line, a line is infinitely long, right? Um, you know, these these arrows show this thing going off forever in this direction, in this direction. Uh, a line segment would be the distance between two points on a line. So um, I've got here line segment A, C. That means um, the distance from A to C, or the, you know this part of the line, um, and it includes the points A and C. So uh, you know I would write that as line segment AC. So this means line segment, the, the line segment that goes from A to C. Okay, so um, a segment bisector. Okay, well, let's talk about bisection in general. Bi means two, and sect means something like cutting. So, like if you dissect a frog, you cut it open. Um, bisect means to cut something in two. Like uh, if I have this box and I cut it in two equal parts. There we go. I've just I've just bisected it. Um, so a segment bisector is something that splits up a line segment into two equal halves. Okay, and it it can be uh, a ray, which is, is something like this where it's got an endpoint and then the line goes off forever. Um, uh, a line, you know, this could gone this could have gone straight through. Or a line segment, you know, if maybe I put a point down here, the line segment D, you know, F or something. Um, uh, so a ray line or set or a ray line or line segment which splits or divides a line segment into equal halves. So basically, um, if this is a um, segment bisector, um, that would mean that the the length of this this half. Uh, would be equal to the length of this half. Say, like, you know, maybe let's say it's 10 inches from A to C. This would be 5 inches, and this would be 5 inches also. Um, so, um, yes. Now, a midpoint is a point which divides a line segment into equal halves. So the midpoint would be uh, right there, B. Given that BD, the ray BD, is a segment bisector, right? So um, the midpoint is part of a segment bisector, uh, either the endpoint there or it's just part of um, uh, a larger segment or something. Um, and so if you've got the midpoint of, of a line segment, the, the, it splits it into two halves. So you know um, this half would be congruent with this half. Um, so, um, if you've got a midpoint, you can draw a segment bisector from it. If you've got a segment bisector, uh, you've got a midpoint in there um, somewhere. Um, you know, if it's a, uh, if I've got, I've got, if I've got a line segment here, like let's call it L M, and let's say. This line here, I, I didn't draw that right, but let's say that this is a segment bisector. Um, that segment bisector will include the midpoint. I might not have it labeled, but that midpoint, that midpoint has to be on the line or the ray or the line segment um, that's bisecting the line segment. All right, so a midpoint is the point which splits a line segment into two equal halves. Uh, a segment bisector is a ray or a line or a line segment uh, which divides a line a line segment into equal halves. Okay, um, so here's just some terminology or some some notation. Uh, so line segment AB is congruent with BC, uh, so they have the same uh, length. Um, so the ray BD, that ray BD bisects AC. Um, and then B 
is the midpoint of AC. So all these are stating basically the same thing. Um, if, if AB is congruent with BC, that means B is the midpoint. Um, and if B is the midpoint, that means that the ray BD is the bisector of AC, or is a bisector. And if BD is a bisector of AC, then B is the midpoint. And if B is the midpoint, then AB and BC are congruent. So these are kind of restating the same thing uh, in, in different ways. Or you can derive each one of these statements from any of the others. Um, yes, given that this is a ray. All right, that should be it. Have fun.